H yesterday. To start off, like Cumul and M, us, cut to this weekend's forecast. Who wrote this? You did. I wrote this? Yeah. Greetings. If you want to know my name, figure it out yourself. On Friday, we have a low chance of rain with a high of 41 degrees and a low of 28. Saturday, similar, no rain, 44 high, 29 low. On Sunday, we will have rain with a 50 top and a 36 bottom. Senior night for basketball is this Saturday at 1 p.m., so make sure to come out and support your seniors. There's also a basketball youth night at 4 p.m. today against North Oconee. For wrestling, there are area duels at Jefferson all day today. There's also a swim meet this Saturday at 10 a.m. at Francis Meadows Aquatic Center. This month's industry spotlight is graphic design, so let's take a look at some careers in that pathway. Graphic designers create visual concepts to inspire, inform, and captivate consumers. They develop the overall layout and production design for advertisements, websites, magazines, and other print and online material. These designers use both text and images to communicate ideas. They design the lettering and color of text as well as arranging images and copy on a print or web page. When using copy and layouts, graphic designers collaborate closely with writers. Many use their creativity to transform statistical data into visuals to make complex ideas more accessible. Graphic designers generally work in studios with drafting tables, computers, and design software. Although many graphic designers work independently, those who work for specialized graphic design firms often work in teams. Work schedules typically revolve around deadlines, whether to deliver a finished product to clients, printing companies, or to publish on the internet. Self-employed designers tailor their workday around meeting with clients, including evenings and weekends. They often spend time looking for new projects and must compete with other designers for contracts. At firms, graphic designers are likely to work more standard hours. Most positions require a bachelor's degree in graphic design or a related field. A professional portfolio of their work is a must for graphic designers to show potential employers their skill, creativity, and originality. Youth Leadership Hall applicants, please remember that all applications are due by January 21st. Email holly.howard at hallco.org if you have any questions or concerns. Club photos are going to be taken next Monday, January 10th, during the school day. Remember to buy a yearbook before prices increase. Again. Well, that's all the news we have for this week. Catch you on the flip side, War Eagles.